Hi, I'm Katie Sparks, and today I'm going to show you how I get my horse to slow down into a western jog. So the western jog is something that we really look for, especially in show horses, as a nice slow jog with a trot that is more collected, so the horse is even, and just real smooth to sit like we do in western. It can be more comfortable for trail riding, and it looks a lot better in a show pen to have a horse who jogs. That's what they search for in events like Western Pleasure and Horsemanship. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is get our horse into a trot. And you'll notice this horse here, she's kind of got her head a little bit higher than her withers, and she's just trotting. She likes to go fast, and that's what she's going to do right now. Pretty movement, it's not all collected. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift my reins, put my outside leg on her hip, and kind of bump her face until she brings it down. And when she does, she gets released. You'll see that's not really working though. Some horses it really doesn't. And that's where the exercise that we're gonna work on today comes in. So she doesn't want to listen to just bump in the face. She wants to trot fast. And I'm gonna ask her then to trot some circles that are really small. It's harder for her to trot fast. She's gonna come back down into that bridle. We're gonna work on some softening exercises that we've done in past. And push her up into that bit. After we've done about four of these circles, we're gonna let her trot straight. And you'll see she's already going slower. But she's gonna pick up speed again, just like she just did, and we're gonna do it again. We can go both directions with this, just don't let her get too much into a habit of one or the other. And I'm going to trot her in that four circles, so we got one more here. While kind of just bumping that face down, pumping that circle smaller, and then I'm going to ask her to trot out of it. And now you'll see she's doing a much prettier trot. She's listening to the bit better, but she still keeps wanting to go faster. We're gonna do it again. We're just gonna keep doing this anytime she speeds up and we don't want her to. We're gonna bump her into these circles. I should be able to just sit here and not have pressure on that bit and have her do a pretty jog, but she wants to go. So if she wants to go, we're gonna go in circles. So really small. Keep bumping that face down and push her out in the jog. There we go. Now you'll see when I ask her to collect, She's being softer in the bit, and she's staying slower instead of speeding up like she had before. There's a few other methods you can do with this. So, if she was going fast again, I'm going to bump her up a little bit better so you can see it. And I want her to slow down. A lot of that slowing down comes from the hips of a horse. So I'm going to oh, ask her to stop, turn around on the back side, and trot. And she's going to come out of that slower. But she's going to come out of it more collected, too. Because we have the weight where it needs to be for that jog, which is back here. And then, if she started to speed up again. Oh. And do it again. And then put that leg on it and trot her out immediately. So we're going to bump her back down. She wants to speed up. So we're going to... A couple turns this time, get her really thinking about putting that weight on that back end. And so. There's some things to be aware of with your own body when you're jogging a horse. I know I have a tendency to lean forward. Your saddle can have some effect on that, depending on if you ride in a roping saddle such as this. It might help you lean forward instead of back because that's what it's truly designed for. But if you're in like a horsemanship saddle, Reining saddle, it should help you sit a little bit more straight up and back. You don't want to get behind the movement of a horse, but if you keep leaning forward too much, they're going to try to catch up with your movements. Those are two exercises. Ooh. We got one more that really helps them set back and slow down. My favorite personally is always the jogging the circles. That's my go-to. Just some horses think different and work better on different cues. So it's always good to have 
a wide variety in ways to ask a horse to slow down that jog. The last method, kind of like the spinning method we just used, puts that emphasis on the back end of the horse. And that's back in a horse. And I'll show you how that's done during a trot. So I'm going to ask her to kind of trot out. I'm not going to get in her face. I want her to look a little bit goofy. And then I'm going to ask her to slow down. You'll see she's kind of, kind of doing it not fast enough, so I'm going to stop. Back her up and trot her out. So already that really helps. So that might even be the best method for this horse in particular, even if my best method for me is the circle. So she's speeding up again. Well, I'm gonna back her up. And trot her out. So get them moving immediately out of there, but keep that collected on their face. A lot of it's gonna be time and a lot of repetition in these exercises to get a horse to just travel nice without having to be reminded to slow down and collect that jaw. Oh, so those are three methods I use to slow down my horse's jog. Uh, there's certainly others out there. I like these ones because they already use the forward momentum of the horse without too much effort. You don't need to have a German Martingale necessarily to get that horse to come back to you and they can be done at home really easily. Just gives you a good variety. So that covers us on jogging. I hope that uh, you liked the video and I hope you'll take a look at the channel to see the other videos we have posted. Thanks.